Edgeworth, you're the prosecutor today? Well, of course. I'm the most qualified for the job out of all the characters in this show. What about Miles Edgeworth? You know I'm perfectly qualified to handle this case. Allow me to take it off your hands at the most dramatic moment possible. What? No, Francisco, you do that every case. Hey, I didn't come all the way out here for nothing. Can I at least act as your co-counsel and whip any foolish fools who get out of line? Fair enough. You may. Wait, what? Don't worry, Nick. You know your client is innocent, so all you have to do is prove it. Yeah, but I don't remember signing up for the whipping. Foolish fool! Ow! All right, guys, get to your seats. We've got to get this trial started. PFA, you're the judge for this trial? Well, of course I am. Would you rather Pearl or Cheryl be the judge? Point taken. Exactly. Now, court is now in session for the trial of Jernath Tanlian. The defense is ready, Your Honor. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. All right, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. Thank you. Our victim, a young man by the name of Hasaki, no last name given, was found lying dead on the ground with an arrow through his chest. Our defendant, Mr. Jernath Tanlian, was found in the forest just outside the scene of the crime, wielding his own bow in a claim that he was hunting. With no other evidence to the contrary, Mr. Tanlian was arrested on suspicion of murder. No other evidence? What does he mean? It means they didn't find any other evidence, I guess. Huh, I wonder why not? With that said, the prosecution would like to summon its first witness to the stand, the detective placed in charge of this case, Detective Dick Gumshoe. Please state your name and occupation for the record of the court. Detective Dick Gumshoe, sir! I'm the detective in charge of this case, see? Now, detective, would you please testify to us about the defendant's arrest? Sure thing, sir! Alright, so we got a call from the witness yesterday at about 3.08 p.m. I immediately came right on the scene where I found the victim lying dead on the ground. The arrow was sticking right through him, see? He was definitely dead. But anyway, that's when the witness told me the killer's name, so I rushed off to track him down. I found him in the woods, and sure enough, he had that bow of his, so I immediately arrested him and took him down to the tension for the questioning. Thank you, detective. Your Honor. Right. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please. Yes, Your Honor. You can do it, Nick! So, detective, any evidence to show us? Murder weapon, autopsy report? Well, we don't have the exact arrow that shot him, but here's the defendant's bow and arrow, sir. As for the autopsy report, no dice. Huh? No autopsy report? Detective, why isn't there an autopsy report? Oh, uh, well, we couldn't do an autopsy on the victim because he wasn't there. Huh? What? Explain the foolish things you say before you see him, Scruffy. Ow! Well, Hasaki's from some kind of magical universe, see, so he just kind of faded away after he died. There was no way to do an autopsy in it on him, so I don't have a report. He just faded away? Wait, but you just told us that you found him lying dead on the ground. How is that possible? It's quite simple, really. There was a moment of delay after his death before he faded away. Think about your foolish questions before you foolishly ask them. Ow, hey, it was worth asking. But yes, one cannot perform an autopsy on someone who doesn't leave a body behind. Regardless, we can add this weapon to the court record. Also, Your Honor, please stop humming that. Sorry, couldn't help it. At any rate, yeah. Jernath's bow has been added to the court record. Alright then. So, um, what exactly can you tell me about why you arrested my client? It doesn't sound like you had an awful lot of proof to me. Well, first off, the victim had an arrow sticking out of his chest, and Mr. Tanlian was in the nearby woods holding his bow. Not many people use bows around here, so that's pretty suspicious, see? But most importantly, there was a witness who specifically named Mr. Tanlian. Right, the witness. Great. I wonder who the witness is. I don't know. At any rate, I have the feeling we won't be able to learn more until we talk with this witness. I heard that, Mr. Wright. Are you finished with your cross-examination? Yes, Your Honor. No further questions. Very well then. Detective, you may be dismissed. Now, as the detective has stated, there was a witness at the scene of the crime who provided us with the defendant's name for the arrest. The witness was the first, and one of the very few, to come upon the victim's body, and as such, the prosecution would like to call this witness to the stand. Ms. Kindle Flair, please come forward. Kindle Flair? The Ant Woman? Yes, Franziska, the Ant Woman. Of all the foolishly foolish fools in the world, it has to be her? Yeah, I know. Sucks, doesn't it? Still don't know why they let you take your whip in here if they confiscated mine. Why you? Franziska, let's remain civil, please. Witness, please state your name and occupation for the record of the court. Name's Kindle Flare, as Edgeworth already said. As for my occupation, I don't really have one anymore. Former administrator, good days, but now I'm just kind of PFA's unofficial record keeper. Both of which were self-appointed jobs, incidentally. Shut up, PFA. So, you want me to testify or something? Er, yes. If you could testify as to what you saw the night of the murder. Sure thing. And if you hum a bar of that song, PFA, I'll find a courtroom-friendly way to make you regret it. Good luck with that. Look, 
Anyway, I was so I was just kind of minding my own business when I stumbled across Hasaki lying there with an arrow sticking out of him. Now, obviously, this meant he'd been murdered, so I did the first thing I thought of and called for the detective. What with the arrow and all, I gave him the only name it could have been. Obviously, Dernath. So, good enough testimony for you? I think it's up to Mr. Wright to decide that. Speaking of which, your cross-examination, please? Actually, Ms. Flair, I do have a problem with your testimony. Mainly, how did you know it was Mr. Tanlian who shot him? First off, don't call me Ms. Flair, because that's not my name. No last name, it's just Kindle Flair. Get it right. Such rude words should never be spoken in court, Ms. Kindle Flair. Ow! I tell you, that woman's whip should have been confiscated, too! Get on with the testimony, Kindle. Anyway, like I said, who else could it have been? I mean, look at our little cast of characters and tell me how many of us used bows. Yeah, just your enough. See? Mystery solved. Hold it! Huh, what? What is it? Ms. Kindle Flair, do you really mean to tell me that the only one around here who wields a bow is Mr. Tanlian? Well, yeah, that's what I just said, isn't it? I don't know about that, Nick. That doesn't sound quite right. I don't know. It feels like there's something we're missing. Let's forget that she exists again! That sounds like fun! What was that? Nothing. Whatever. Anyway, Jernath's not only the only one who could have done it, it just makes so much sense. I mean, first off, he's a mercenary. With a large enough sum of money, the guy will do anything. Secondly, I think he's probably got a grudge against him. Hey, am I allowed to comment? Because I haven't a clue what this woman is talking about. Yeah, right. Like, we're going to believe the murderer over there. Silence, both of you! Ow! Ow! Hey, I'm the witness here! Foolish fools who foolishly go on about irrelevant matters! Ms. Kindleflare, if you could stomp your point quickly, I believe the court would appreciate it. Short and sweet is what you like, then? Never could have guessed. Anyway, my point. He's got the weapon. He's got the motive. There's really no one it could have been other than Jernath. Objection! Whoa, wow. You really are loud when you shout that. Ms. Kindleflare, I'm afraid to say that I find a very large flaw with your testimony. Are you going to stop being vague and tell me what it is? You have claimed repeatedly that the only one who could have shot and killed Hasaki with a bow and arrow is Jernath Tanlian. What you don't seem to realize is that this claim is false! Well, yeah, sure there's other bow wielders out there, but none of them that show up around here. Hold on. Mr. Wright, if there's someone else on your mind, could you tell us this person's name? Of course I can. It's, um, something. Maya, do you remember the name? The name of who? Who are we talking about, Nick? You know, the elf girl that hangs around sometimes. What was it? Allian. You mean Allian? Yes, that's it. Allian? Doesn't sound familiar. She's that elf girl with silver hair. I remember seeing her picture once, at least. Anyway, the point is, this Allian uses a bow as well. Shoot, she does? Come on, Kindle. I know she's extremely antisocial and all, but haven't you at least seen her picture? I mean, if you look at it, you would notice that she's holding a bow. Oh, whoops. That, uh, totally slipped my mind. Yeah, sure it did, Kindle. But anyway, my point is, if we're accusing my clan under the reasoning that he's one of the few who wields a bow, then why haven't we brought an alley in yet? After all, she just so happened to be acquainted with the victim, didn't she? <sighs> in the same profile section and everything. What? Why wasn't this brought to my attention earlier? Your Honor, I say a verdict cannot be reached in this trial until we have considered all the possibilities. Whether or not Allian is guilty of the crime, the defense requests she take the stand. Seems fair enough to me. Allian will be summoned to the courthouse immediately. This court is in recess until she arrives.